Hello kids! Welcome to our school at home class in kindergarten. We are now in the fourth quarter, week one, lesson two. Different body parts and movements of animals. Listen attentively kids so at the end of this video lesson, you will be able to identify the body parts that the animals are using to move. But before we start with our new lesson, let's have a short review of what you have learned last time. Match the animal to its name. This is a chicken. Yes, this is its name. How about this one? This is a cow. You are right. Bird. And its name goes here. Last, fish. And it goes here. How many correct answers did you get? Great job! Do you know that animals have different body parts? And they move in different ways. Let's find out what are they. Can you tell how these animals move? Yes, you are right. The dog can walk and run. How about the cat? Great! Cats can walk and run too. And what do they use to walk and run? Yes, their feet and legs. Animals like dogs and cats can walk and run using their feet. How about these animals? How do they move? This is a carabao. And carabao can walk and run. This is a goat. The goat can walk and run too. They also use their feet to walk and run just like dogs and cats. What is this animal? Yes, this is a horse. What do horses usually do? Yes, they run fast. Horses can run fast using their long legs and feet. Can you run fast too? Can you name these animals? Can you tell how these animals move? This is a lizard. Have you seen a lizard? How it moves? How about turtles and crocodiles? Lizards, turtles, and crocodiles walk slowly because they have short legs. How about the snake? How it can move its body when it doesn't have legs? Well, animals like snakes and worms have no legs, so they crawl on the ground using their belly. How do frogs, rabbits, and grasshoppers move their bodies? Yes, you are right, they jump. And how did they do it? Their hind legs push their body and jump forward. Look up at the sky. What animals do you usually see up there? Correct, we see animals like bees, butterflies, and birds. We see them flying. Animals that have wings make them fly. Do you know other animals that have wings? Can you name them? Good job! Not all animals have legs to walk and wings to fly. Let us look at this. These are fishes. Fishes live in water. Do you know how they move? You're right. They swim. They use their fins to swim. I hope you remembered our lesson well because we will have an activity. Connect the animals to the word that describes how they move. Fish. The fish can swim. Very good. Ant. The ant can crawl. Frog. How do frogs move? It hops. Horse. The horse walk and run. How about the shrimp? The shrimp swims. The grasshopper hops too. The cat walks. The bees fly. 
the snake crawls on its belly and last the bird flies for our second activity draw the missing body part of animal in the picture i will give you two minutes to finish this activity Are you done? Very good! Animals have different body parts which they use in moving. Can you tell what body parts these animals are using to move? Bees. The bees use their wings to fly. Horses. They use their long legs and feet to walk and run fast. Butterflies. They use their wings to fly. And lastly, dogs use their feet to walk and run. Always remember kids, every animal has an important body part it's used to look for food and protect itself from harm. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this video lesson. Bye kids! See you in the next video lesson. Thank you!